What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to The Road to Glory, Episode 7. So yes, FC United of Manchester. Um, one thing that you're going to notice is the fact that I, um, I've changed my name to work the space. Uh, you just you can change your name at any point in your save just by right clicking and setting a nickname for yourself. So if you want to take a screenshot of yourself or maybe show a video of your save, you can change your name just doing that. Uh, you're going to notice the fact that we've gone forward two months as well. The reason for this is, is uh, if I just show you my fixtures... We had a really odd kind of fixture schedule in the sense that we only had two months in uh, two games in February right at the start. So what I decided to do was just bunch them up with the January games. But as you can see, we actually had a very crowded fixture list during this time. In fact, we've not really had a decent break like this month long one that we've had uh, at the moment since like November time. I was looking at the fixtures. We played something like twenty one games in three months which doesn't sound that bad but it works out at about a game every three point uh, a game every three point something games which um sorry three points in days so at this kind of level with the smallish squads it can re really take a toll so as you can see we've had a really really good kind of bounce back i'm not going to show all these games but we'll just look at the, a few of the games so i'm going to start off by showing you the highlights from the grantham town game we won three nil here really convincing game we had the game in the bag pretty early on Looking at the statistics, we really dominated the game as well. And this has been something that we've certainly done over the last month and a bit. We've really been able to close out games and control games. Uh, it, something's just clicked. I don't know if it's just the team finally just 100% getting the tactics and us getting everyone fit at the right time. But we've been very lucky now in the sense that we've not really had any injuries in terms of our attacking players for quite some time now. And so everyone's had a time to kind of gel. So Rock has been absolutely insane on the right. Uh, and Wright's been absolutely insane on the left. Two very strong wingers. Both players are leading the assist tables uh, in the league. And you've got to bear in mind that Rocker was out for, I think, something like six weeks at the start of the season. So to be up there in the assists is absolutely crazy. But they've been working really well as wingers, getting the ball into each other. Wright's actually got a decent amount of goals over the last few months as well. So anyway, that's a pretty standard Norton target man finish and Platt's able to double our lead just 14 minutes into the game. And I've got the match stats in the bottom right so you can see them, but we really did dominate this game. Uh, plenty of shots, both on and off target, and you're going to see here, they're crowding out the centre. Uh, we win the ball and we kind of hit them where there's a space, so... This was really good play actually by us. Um, a bit more direct. We've been playing a bit more direct recently. I kind of played around with the sliders a little bit more. Um, so we're playing a few more longer balls. And our players just seem to be able to run onto them. And um, I don't know. We, it, it's just working for us. So that was a good 3-0 win there. Um, we won quite a lot of games by significant margins. We've had a lot of clean sheets as well. Which is really good to see. We've had six clean sheets in the last seven. Uh, sorry. Um, six clean sheets in the last nine, which is a really good kind of record. The last two games, we've not had the best offensive records, but hopefully going into this Matlock Town game, we can do some good. Uh, just looking at our players' last five games ratings, as you can see, full-strength squad now. It's looking really good. I've released a few players from, who were just kind of backup players who came back from loans, and I really didn't need in the squad. Um, but as you can see, as far as the last five games are concerned, we're playing really well. This is the seasonal average ratings. So everyone's playing pretty well, well across the seasons. And in terms of goals, you can see that... Um, you know, everyone's contributing a few goals between them. I mean, 15 uh, goals between your three midfielders is a pretty decent turnout, considering that um, Norton's also got 20 goals this year. So just a quick look at the table before we get into today's game. We're top of the league. Everyone's now played the same amount of games. This long break has meant that all the games that were kind of not getting played have been able to be played. And we're looking really good. We're still undefeated. I think we're now like undefeated in 25 or something, which is really, really encouraging. Again, defensively, we're looking really strong. Most goals in the league, best goal difference by far. And it's just a case of us sealing out the remaining nine games of the season, winning them and making sure we're up there in a few months. So this season's not too bad. We've only got five games this uh, month. Yeah, five games this month. And then we have another five um, after that, oh wait, even no, we we have only we only have four games this month. Then we have five next month, uh, and then Buxton is at the start of May, so that'll probably be our last game of the season live con thing. Who knows? We might still be kind of 
undecided whether or not we've won the league by that point. I'm hoping that we can seal it out by then, but we've got to take it one step at a time, and Matlock Town is going to be a very big game here, because they are up there in terms of the table. They're currently fourth. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we can do a good job here. They've got a few players injured. Uh, our only player injured is Ryan Carolan who is our left back naturally so we're playing with Grieve there we've still not got a natural left back although Grieve is currently being trained in that position and he has a yellow light and he, he's been doing an okay job there as a filler Evan and King in the centre have been doing a good job Spencer in goal has been a class player for us he was already at the club when I came but he's been a fantastic keeper uh, State on the right has been another really good revelation at the club another good free transfer that we brought in Brooksby again another player in form in his last five games but anyway, enough rambling, let's get straight on into this game. We've got a full strength team, maximum fitness. I'm really hopeful that we can do a good job here against Matlock, despite the fact it's away. So they're back backing us. We've got some good players, and we're too strong for the Gladiators, and they've got four players injured who are probably first-choice players. So let's see how we get on here. I'm hoping for a really good response. So let's encourage the team to keep going. Um... Enjoy the match today. We'll we'll go with a nice, relaxing team talk. I, I'm pretty confident that if we just play the way we play, uh, that we'll be comfortable here. And we've got the ball immediately. And I don't get why it does highlights off kickoffs like that. Yeah. Even if it just showed the kickoff and then immediately faded out, you don't need to have like the prolonged uh, replay. So we need to get the ball out here, get it out, and now work it. Work it, work it into the channels. Norton's not the quickest centre back, and there's been a uh, centre forward. Been a few times when the ball gets knocked over to him, and he just can't run onto them. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be changing the system next season. It's something that I am considering. I prefer to play with two strikers, but this year that we only really had the one striker to choose from, and our players really suited this formation. So who knows? We'll see who becomes available over the summer. It's also going to depend on what division we're in as to kind of transfer decisions and stuff. But as I say that, Norton's got a nice little chance there. Uh, good save by the keeper, parrying it out to safety. But it's good to see that we're, um, we're creating the chances. They've only had three shots and they've all been off target, whereas we've had six. And we're getting a few of them on target, which is good to see. And that's Rocker there. He's an insanely quick winger. Hopefully he can get in. And that's a poor ball. A little bit disappointing. I think that was actually a shot, which makes it a little bit more disappointing. Players in this league can sometimes get a little bit greedy and a little bit ambitious, which is a little bit kind of disappointing I'm going to be quickly changing up the instructions here just to kind of get some more of the ball because I don't feel like we're getting enough of the ball at the moment it's 50-50 in possession and I'd much rather we were controlling it so keep the players heads up I'm pleased with how things go. oh okay well that was a crap team talk let's just go angry I'm disappointed that didn't work either I'm not doing a very good job here oh okay they're motivated good shit me We've, we're going to save this there we go, see? See? Crap team talks, I wasn't really paying attention, but we've recovered it. So, we've got instructions to keep the ball. Hopefully we can get above the 50-50. I'm also going to be setting work into box, because I want to try and get some better opportunities on the ball. And sometimes uh, just setting those two instructions work really well nicely together for me. Looking at the stats, so it really is a 50-50 game. These guys are fourth in the league, so we can't really you know, underestimate how good they're going to be. But anyway, Platt at the edge of the area with the ball, going to lay it back. Platt again to Brooksby. Platt making a move down the centre through to Norton. Norton blasts it wide. A little bit disappointing there. Norton has been... He went through an insane run of form just leading up to Christmas. Then we got a few draws where he just stopped scoring. And then since then, he's been kind of steadily scoring, you know, not every game, but every other game at least. And he's doing a decent job for us. So I can't really criticise the guy, but he is playing as a lone forward. So you'd expect him to be getting the goals he's getting, especially with the creative players we have. But anyway, here, Ashmore to Weddle and State going to chase that. And he's left himself out of position, you know, just gets baited in, thinking he can get the ball, gives them loads of space and... Luckily for us, I'm sure it's just wasted it on the back post for them. Ah, <sighs> Okay, I'm thinking of how we can change this now. We're not getting enough of the ball. So, I'm going to go with uh, control. I'm just going to wait for this chance to go. I don't want them to score and then me to be switching everything to slightly more conservative. Uh, they've hit the crossbar. Get it out. Okay, a foul by Spence. Okay, let's get the tactics done now. Overview of team tactics. 
Uh, what we're going to do here, I'm going to just drop Brooksby into center that uh, into the center here and switch him to box to box. In fact, no, I'm going to drop him back. I'm going to play him as a central attacking mid, and then I'm going to switch right to inside forward. And I think that'll do. I think I'm tempted to switch. No, well, we'll stick with that. I think that's going to work just to see out this game because we're not getting enough of the ball in the centre. Hopefully we can start getting a bit more of the ball. Um, two minutes left. I'm kind of happy to sell for a nil-nil here. We've not really shined. They've probably had the better of the play, which is a little bit disappointing. Maybe a little bit of rustiness to shake off from the break. Uh, Norton feels like he could have contributed more. Norton's overall was not 6.0, which when you're a lone striker, if you're kind of, you know, having one of these mediocre games, it's disappointing. I'm going to go with not not happy there, and a few players seem de demotivated, but I kind of, I'm kind of a tough love manager. Okay, has no right to be happy. The fans expected a comfortable victory, and we've been disappointed. Uh, looking at it, Hendersford Town drew as well, so we've not lost any kind of... We've not lost our lead at the top, which we would have done if Hendersford Town had won. They would have leapfrogged us and gone one point clear of us at the top. So the fact that they've drawn is, a, I guess, a positive we can take away. That game was a little bit below satisfaction, but it will do. As I said, we didn't have the best of the play. They are fourth in the league, and we were away. So I'll take that. We've maintained our unbeaten record, and it was a nice clean sheet, I suppose. But anyway, guys, that's today's episode done. I hope you enjoyed the video as always. Uh, of course, the next video to come out will be in just four games time. And by that point, it will really will be the rush to the end of the season where we take on Buxton to decide our fate in this league. And I'm really hoping that we can maintain this gap that we have at the top. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, leave a comment, maybe share some opinions, views, any advice for me, anything you want to know about this save. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thanks for watching.